Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on factorising and verifying polynomials. Don't forget that you can subscribe for future videos and you can follow on Twitter at Guide Calculator. Let's get straight into answering this question then. What we're going to do is use the factor theorem to show that x plus 3 is a factor of x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. Now if you're familiar with the factor theorem, you might want to skip about a minute ahead uh, to the next section. So what I'm writing here is um, we're thinking about what x value makes x plus 3 equal to 0. So we want an x value of x equals minus 3. And the factor theorem will state that if we put minus 3 in to our function as our x value, we should get a result of 0. So what I'm doing here is just replacing any x's with minus 3's. I'm actually doing this non-calculator, uh, which is a little bit different for me. Um, but we will be using the calculator later on um, to verify some of our answers. So once we've sorted this one out, um, if we add all these together, we should get the result of zero. So we know that x plus 3 is a factor. So the next bit of the question here, part b, is we need to factorise x cubed plus 4x squared plus uh, x minus 6 completely. And this is the main bit that I really wanted to show you on this video, is how to do this without doing the long division method that a lot of textbooks will show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really exploit um, the fact that there's a relationship between multiplication and division. And I'm going to just draw a grid in here uh, to help me out with this. Now I've got two rows in this grid to represent the two terms in the fact we've got an x and a plus 3. And I'm going to introduce columns into the table. I'm going to do as many columns as the highest degree of x that I've got in my polynomial. So that's x cubed. So I want three columns uh, for this. Now the quotient, or what the result that I get when I divide, is going to appear on the top here. Very similar to the top of the divisor or the bush shelter type shape on long division. Now um, I'm going to put in here the first term. So the first term in the top left hand um, space there, the first term of my polynomial is x cubed. And what I'm thinking about uh, here is what do I need to multiply x by uh, in order to get x cubed? Well it's x squared, yeah? So these two should multiply together to give my term here. And then in the bottom here what I'm going to do is to multiply the x squared that I've written on the top by the 3. Now I'm going to compare how many x squareds I've got here, 3x squared, with how many I've got in my polynomial, which is 4x squared. I need another x squared to make that true, so I'm going to write that here in the next uh, row on the top. And then what I'm doing is I'm thinking about what I need to multiply x by to give me x squared. Well that's x. Positive x, so I'm going to put plus x here on the top. And then as with the first column, I'm thinking about multiplying 3 and x together to give me 3x. And once again, I'm going to compare the 3x that I've got here to the number of x's in the x term of the polynomial. I've just got 1x, so what I need to do is subtract 2x away from that. So in the next column along, I'm going to write minus 2x. And again, it's the same process. It's thinking about what do I need to multiply x by to give me minus 2x? It's minus 2. And then lastly, I'm going to multiply minus 2 by plus 3, which is going to give me an answer of minus 6. And I'm just comparing that now to the last term in my polynomial, which is minus 6. Uh, and so therefore I've got no remainder, which is what I was expecting. I already knew x plus 3 was a factor, and therefore I wouldn't get a remainder. Okay, so here I've got my factor x plus 3, and my quotient x squared plus x minus 2. Now this uh, bit here, x squared plus x minus 2, is not factorised completely, which is what the question was asking for. So I need to think about factorising that quadratic equation. So I've got my x plus 3 there, and then to factorise the quadratic I've got x minus 1, and my second term, second factor would be x plus 2. And there we go, three brackets, so we factorise that completely, and we finish the question there. Okay, we're moving on to question two now. Given that x minus 4 is a factor of 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 23x plus 12, we have to factorise that polynomial completely. So here's my grid again, 
and I've got three columns to represent that my highest power of x is x cubed and two rows, I've got two terms in the factor, uh, I've got x and minus 4. Okay, so my first term, which is 2x cubed, remember that wants to go in the top left-hand uh, rectangle here, the top left-hand cell of uh, the grid. So 2x cubed, and I'm thinking about what I need to multiply x by to give me 2x cubed. I'm going to write that up here. That's 2x squared. And then I'm multiplying uh, minus 4 by 2x squared to give me my value here, which is going to be minus 8x squared. Then I'm making a comparison between minus 8x squared that I've got here and minus 3x squared, which is what I've got in my polynomial. So I'd need to add 5 more x squared to get that correct. So I'm going to add that now to the second column. And what would I need to multiply x by to give me 5x squared? Well, it's plus 5x. And then thinking about the bottom cell there, we've got minus 20x, minus 4 times 5x. And once again, I'm going to make a comparison uh, between minus 20x and how many x's I've got in my polynomial. I've got uh, tw minus 23x, so I need to take away another 3x. And I need to multiply x by minus 3 to give me that. And then lastly, I've got minus 3 times minus 4, which gives me plus 12. And I compare that to the last term that I've got, which is also plus 12, which means we've got no remainder, which is what we would expect if we've got uh, x minus 4 as a factor. Okay, so here we've got the factor of x minus 4 and the quotient of 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. And again, we need to factorise the quadratic quotient part again in order to factorise it completely. Um, so I'm going to just rewrite this with three brackets. And here we have x minus 4, uh, 2x minus 1 and x plus 3 as our complete factorisation. Now what we can do, or the main purpose of this video, is to be able to verify uh, this relationship on the calculator. That the polynomial that we have is identically equal to the factorised version uh, that we've just found out. Uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to uh, enter the verify mode on the calculator here, where my result is going to be either true or false. And I'm going to start off by inputting the polynomial as it was presented to me in the question. So 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 23x plus 12. Now I want to access the verify menu, so I need to press shift and 2. And I'm going to use the equal sign here. There isn't an identically equal uh, sign, but we can use that as appropriate. And now I'm going to write in my factorised version. So x minus 4, 2x minus 1, and then x plus 3, as it appears on the page here. Now what we are expecting is this to be true. If we've done our factorization accurately, uh, then it should be true. And here we have uh, it saying that it is true. The calculator has corroborated that we are correct in that. Okay. Now what we could do is just to check that the calculator isn't trying to trick us, maybe just alter uh, one of these, uh, just in case we got the wrong answer. And no, it's it said that that's false, so we can be so much more confident that we've got the correct um, factorization there. Now there is another way that we can uh, check that we've got the correct uh, factorization, this time using the table mode and our knowledge of the factor theorem. So as my fx here I'm going to input my original uh, polynomial, so 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 23x plus 12 and then I'm going to input a range of value. Then I'm going to check my uh, factorised version, thinking about the values that would make each bracket equal to zero. OK, now I need to think about my range a little bit. Um, the calculator only has memory to uh, trial so many uh, values. Now, looking at my uh, factors, um, if I pick a range from, say, minus 5 to 5 and make the step a half, I should uh, 
be able to test all values going up in halves from minus five to five. That's about 20 values altogether, which is, a, is pretty much the calculator's capacity. The reason why I wanted a step of a half is looking at the bracket 2x minus one, I know that it's going to be a half uh, that makes that bracket equal to zero. And here I have my values. Um, so if I just scroll down, uh, here we've got minus three giving us a value of zero. Well, that corresponds with the bracket x plus three. If x was minus three, that bracket would equal zero. Okay, and here we have another one, which is as expected, 0 0.5 or a half would make uh, the bracket two x minus one equal zero. And here we finally have the value of four, would make the bracket x minus four equal to zero. And so therefore we've got an extra check there that our factorization is correct. Considering both methods, I would say the verify mode is more user friendly. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have this calculator, this is the FX991ES Plus in the UK, uh, then what we can do is we can use equation mode, and if we select four for a cubic equation, we can input uh, the value of, of the coefficients that we have from our original polynomial into the solver. It should tell us the values that make FX equal to zero. So here we have minus three, And here we have four, and here we have a half. So essentially the roots or the crossing points of the x-axis of that function. Okay, let's have a go at our last question here. Find the quotient and the remainder when 3x cubed plus 13x squared minus 11x plus five is divided by x plus five. So this time we're expecting a remainder. Now we've still got three columns because we have a 3x cubed, x cubed being our highest power of x and uh, we're gonna be divided by x plus five, so two rows. Let's put our first term in here, 3x cubed. What do I need to multiply x by to give me 3x cubed? Well, it's 3x squared. So the first part of the quotient is gonna be 3x squared. Multiply this by five, I'm going to have 15x squared. Now, if I compare that to what I have in my polynomial, I've got 13 x squared, so I need to take two of those x squareds away. What do I need to multiply x by to give me minus two x squared? Well, it's minus two x. Minus two x times by five is going to give me minus 10 x. Compare that with what I have in my polynomial, which is minus 11 x. And so I need to take away one more x, so minus x. What do I need to multiply x by to give me minus x? Well, that's by minus one. And then I need to do minus one times five, which gives me minus five. Now, if I compare that to the uh, last value that I have in my polynomial, which is plus five, um, I can see that they're not the same value. I'm going to need a remainder to take my value from minus five to plus five. I'd need to add 10 more on in order to make that correct. So this here is my remainder. My remainder is plus 10 or 10. Okay, so if we've done this correctly, this statement should be true, that we've got a quotient of 3x squared minus 2x minus one, and we have a remainder of 10. So I'm going to use the calculator's verify mode to check that's true. I've just sped this up a little bit here uh, in order to save a little bit of time. So I'm inputting uh, my original uh, polynomial equals from the verify menu, and then my quotient, my factor, and my remainder to check that that's true. Here we go, and the calculator says true there. I'm just going to alter this, just in case we kept minus five in there accidentally, uh, and that's saying false. So it's verified that uh, what we have written here is correct. 
that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Calculator Guy.